I'm Chris Coles, and this is my studio, the Bangkok Knife. Well, I've worked in the movie business in Los Angeles for 20-something years and worked on some pretty big movies. Uh, a couple of them actually good movies. Some of them really bad, like Supergirl, Santa Claus. I think the two best ones were uh, L.A. Story and Chaplin. And then I came to Thailand on a really big movie called Cutthroat Island, which uh, was one of the biggest flops in cinema history. Bankrupted Corelco Studios that made it. But I spent six months in Thailand, first time I'd ever been in Asia. And uh, I didn't know anything about Asia, and what really surprised me when I came here for that movie, and I went around Asia on business to uh, the various capitals while I was here, was how modern Asia had become. Once my daughter finished high school in LA, then I came here more or less full time. And I'd been doing drawings all my life as a hobby, and sort of after that uh, film in Thailand, I started doing a lot of portraits of Thai people, because I thought the faces here were so interesting. And then about uh, maybe 2004, I was talking with some writers I know here, and uh, I had noticed a lot of German Expressionist paintings looked very similar to the Bangkok night. And I asked everyone I knew here, has anyone painted this huge landscape called the Bangkok night, which goes for miles? Uh, and no one knew any, anyone who was painting it. So I said, well, I should stop doing portraits and I just start painting the Bangkok night. My normal day is I work all day painting. I go to a food court for lunch. I uh, maybe stop painting nine or 10 o'clock at night, go to the gym because I haven't exercised. And then about 11, I'll go out to the Bangkok night and I'll wander around for a couple of hours and I'll go to all the different areas, Thai areas, Farang areas, Japanese areas, Arab areas. And uh, I'll buy a bowl of noodles or a drink and I'll sit and just watch and absorb what's going on around me. You can't, you can't take photographs in these places. That's actually, they'll, they'll throw you out. And people get really annoyed if, you, if they think you're trying to take a photograph. Uh, you can't really sketch either. I mean, as you can see, the, uh, they're not exactly Andrew Wyeth paintings. So I, I don't need to like look at every little detail. Uh, and I think what I'm trying to do is get the, uh, the, the feeling and ambiance more than the precise detailing. I've certainly had problems with individual ties who come to me and say, I'm painting very bad things and I shouldn't paint them. And one tie even said to me at the opening for the FCCT show, he said, all of the stuff in your paintings is supposed to be a secret. And, and now you've painted it, it's not a secret anymore. And you're very bad because the, now the secret is not a secret. And I said to him, I don't think it was a secret. I think everybody already knows. He said, in Thailand, we all know, but we keep it secret. And, and outside of Thailand, they don't know, it's a secret. I said, I think the whole world knows. It's not a secret anywhere. He, and he, he just, at that point, he got so upset, he started screaming at me. Another interesting story, I think, is I went to a very nice gallery, and the lady likes my paintings. And then she said, you know, I like your paintings, but I don't, I can't really put them in my gallery because the subject matter is too upsetting. And her gallery was in a shop house in Sukhavit, and every shop house has a wall between itself and the next shop house. And the next shop house over is a very notorious Japanese brothel, which is in all the Japanese brochures about what you should do when you come to Thailand. And probably has 40 or 50 girls working there, probably has 200 Japanese guys a day going there. And my painting, I said to her, will be hanging right here in this wall and five inches behind the back of my painting, there'll be a Japanese guy and a Thai girl. And at that point, she just said, no, 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 stop, stop. I can't think about it. I have to pretend that that is not there. Otherwise, I can't exist in this gallery. So there's a certain logic to that point of view of not wanting to uh, look at or look at paintings of what I would call the reality of the street level Thailand. But personally, I think it's better to look at stuff head on and deal with stuff head on 
you know, if you, if you want it to be less, you want to get rid of it, you want it to be more, whatever, at least deal with the reality head on. Don't pretend the reality doesn't exist.